Welcome back to ProTune guys. My name's Ryan. Today we're doing a 50 yard ammunition test with my CZ457 LRP with the IBI barrel. Conditions today, around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. We're getting about six to nine mile an hour winds from left to right. And basically, let's just get to it. Clean bore, we're ready to rock. So here we are in the backyard again at 50 yards with my CZ. 457 LRP. We're shooting Ely Bullseye Pistol X today. So this stuff retails for $10.99. So it's very cheap, or not cheap, but very inexpensive as far as precision ammo goes. We're gonna give it a go on our target down range. It's a variation of the 50 yard day at the range Z challenge target. Kind of like the ones we used on our other videos for ammo testing, except for these have diamonds instead of circles for my aiming points. That's basically the only difference. We're gonna to stick to the same format with 20 fouling shots followed by four or five shot groups. We'll show all the data at the end from the magneto speed chronograph and measure them up after every group. That's enough talking, let's get the shooting. I don't know if you guys noticed yet, but it's a beautiful hat from dayatherange.com. Go check them out. Info's on his channel, how to get these beautiful hats. He also has t-shirts too, or polo shirts. Very nice stuff, so go check them out. I'm gonna take the beautiful hat off, take these shades off. It's a little warmer today than I'm used to. Around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I know you guys down the States, it's, that's nothing to you guys, but I'm still used to snow and whatever from about a month ago, so here we go. Parallax looks all right. Let's get the shooting. So we're going to do 20 shots on center. Get the rifle settled in. And ready to rock. Here we go. So I went three to the left, just to get her more centered. Our elevation looked pretty good. Had about two flyers that left that 10 shot initial fouling group. Shoot 10 more, and then we'll get our four or five shot groups. Okay, here we go. These should be more centered up now. Not sure if I picked one up here. I might have short stroked it. Oh. There we have our fouling shots, totally complete. 
we're going to shoot the top left target for five. Here we go. Group number one. The last shot was a little low, but it's still a pretty good group for this price point of ammunition. I noticed that the Cybi barrel tends to favor Ely ammunition more than SK, where the factory MTR or LRP barrel seems to favor the SK stuff a little better. It is what it is. This barrel seems to make it a lot easier to tight or tighten up your groups anyways. So. Group number two, here we go. That's a solid group there. Eleven dollar ammunition shooting like that. That's that's awesome. So definitely not gonna complain about that. Let's just see if we can repeat that two more times to make a good solid average. And then this stuff is gonna be on the hit list for this ammunition for sure. Group number three. Oh. I guess I had one fly out there, but still four to five, pretty solid. Group number four, final group for the day. Let's do it. Whoa. Okay. That's a little odd, but... And that one kind of fell apart. I'm not sure if that was me. Getting a little bit of sweat in my eye. That's enough excuses. But from what I can see down there, for $10.99, this is comparable or better than the SK Yellow Box, the Standard Plus in the, the factory barrel. Like I said, the IBI barrel tends to prefer the Ely over SK, but could have just been the day also. So, I don't know, maybe I'll have to retry some of those SK ammunitions in this barrel again, just to make sure it wasn't just me on a bad day shooting or something like that. But there we go, guys. Go check out dayatrange.com. Get your hat. I'm sure Eli will appreciate that. They're a pretty nice hat, too. Fitted mesh back. So, right on, guys. I can put the, the chronograph data up now. Have a look at it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you haven't already, like the video, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Take care, guys.